Welcome to the plus advanced tutorial. Today we are going to demonstrate image gallery widget. In the image gallery widget, first of all, in the content tab, you have a layout options. In the layout, you have a different styling options. You have three total styles available. Then you have the layout. In the layout, you have options for the grid, masonry, metro, and carousel. Let's start with the grid first. After that, you have the pop up layout. In the pop up layout, currently we have the default. And uh, if you don't want to pop up anything, you can select the no. Then in the content setting, you have two options. First of all, it have a normal in which you can add multiple images by selecting multiple images from them. Then you have the repeater option. In the repeater option, Let's select the another gallery. So already have rebuilt gallery. In the repeater option, you need to select each image individually. From there, you can select the image, its title, its caption text, and you can add category. You need to add the category with the selection of comma. something like this so you will have the three categories selected for this particular image then you have the option for the icon you can select the icon different styles have the different layout some styles have the use of icon so you need to select the icon which will be visible in the center you can see the icon here all the cosmetic options are also available in the style tab for the icons. In the icon, you have the icons mine and the font awesome. You also select the image or you can select the none. So these are the options in each section in the repeater. And if you select the normal, you again have the title and it's a caption. But that you need to manage from the media section. After the content tab, you have the columns manager. Column manage available for the grid, masonry, and the metro. In the column manage, you can select the column value for the desktop, tablet, and the mobile. You also have the column gap option. You can select the column gap from using this option. Let's get back to the repeater section. After that, you have the extra options. In the extra options, you have option to turn on or off title. It will on and off as per the styles need. Then you have the title tag option which you can use for the SEO purpose. You also on off display accept or content which is available on the hover in this particular style. Then all you also have the option for the category wise filter. We'll discuss about this later in this video. Then you have the style option. In the style, you can pop up, you can select the pop up icon. Once you turn it on, you will have the by default the icon. Its size you can adjust from here. You also have the icon color option and hover icon color option. So you can manage those uh, things from here. And if you want to upload any custom icon, you can use this option. So using that, you can set up that here. Once you install custom icon, this icon size and icon color will not work. You also have the bottom space option for the middle icon. After that, you have extra icon options here as you have selected the icon from the repeater tab size icons you will select from here these are the options for that sorry these are the options for that so it have the icon size icon color for the normal and for the hover you also can adjust space 
above the icon and below the icon using these options then you have the title and title typography all the options are available font family size weight transform style decoration line height letter spacing you also have the color options for the normal and for the hover then you have the accept content you also have the typography and content option content color option you also have the top space option so you can adjust the space then you have the content background options in which you have the color option you can select from here you can see the difference this content background option will work differently in different styles because in some styles you will have a full background so it will work accordingly then there is the option for the featured image you have option for the image hover effect once you hover on this image you will have the effects you have the different styles available soon then you have the background color option this option will be considered as a opacity it's a overlay color so you can adjust the overlay color using this option you also have the hover option for the overlay color oh sorry let's get back to the option we were you can select the hover color as well so then you also have the option for the css filter those css filter options also for the normal and the hover condition for example if you want to keep the blur zero and on hover if you want that image to be blurred then you can select this option so you can play with all the options of the CSL filter to create some amazing designs. Then you have the box look background style in which you can adjust the box border. It's width. You also have the border color option for the normal and for the hover. If you want to change that color on the hover, you can change it out. You also have the border radius option. You also have box shadow option. Box shadow option will be available for the normal and hover conditions. After that, you have the extra options. In the extra options, you can turn on tilt 3D parallax effect. By turning on, you can have the tilt 3D parallax effect. You also have the mouse move parallax effect. If you turn it on, you will have the mouse move parallax effect. It also have its uh, own settings. You can adjust that. You also have the messy columns option. If you turn it on, and as we have the four columns, we need to select. We need to choose values for the four columns. So let's keep zero for the first column. For the second column, let's keep the eighty. Then again for the third, we will keep zero. And for fourth, we will put the 80. So it will have the messy layout like this. Keep in mind if you have only four columns, don't put the value for the fifth and sixth. So you just need to adjust the value for one to four. After that, you have the option for the on scroll view animation. We already have made separate video. You can find out that video from our channel. We already discussed about grid. Masonry have all the options similar to grid. So you can select all the options as per that. After that you have the metro option. In the metro layout you need to select the column manager. In the column manager you have a different column options. Each column have different styles. If you select the column 3 there will be different 4 styles. Then there is the option for the column 4 and again it have different styles. So you can choose the multiple layouts with the multiple columns. You also have the option for the tablet responsive. So if you turn this option on, 
you can select the layout for the metro it have the column 3 option and it's it have its different styles and in the mobile it will by default will be a grid layout also you can manage the column gap from here so these are the options are for the metro layout after that you have a carousel layout in the carousel once you select the carousel options you will have a new tab in the style tab carousel option from there you have an option for the sliders it have the horizontal and vertical option vertical option is coming soon then you have a slide speed option then you have desktop tablet and mobile options for the columns you also have the next previous option you can select one column or the all visible columns then you have a slide padding then you have different options like draggable infinite mode pause on hover adaptive height auto play auto play speed you can manage those options by turning it on or off then you have the option for the dots you have total seven dot styles you can turn on using this option it have a different styles and all the styles have different cosmetic options which are available underneath that style option then you have the dot top padding option so you can adjust the padding so you can adjust the padding like that then you have option for the on hover dots that means once you turn it on dots will be visible only when you hover on that section same options are available for the arrows it have a different styles you can select from here then this is the sub styles depends on the style then it's cosmetic options again it have the on hover arrow option then it have a center mode option in the center mode option you have the center padding option keep in mind when you have a center mode use the even number odd number of columns you can select the 3 5 7 or like that then you can adjust the center padding after that you need to select the center slide effect you can select the scale shadow or none if you select the scale you will have the center slide scale option how much you want to scale that center slide then you have the scale value for the normal slide you also have the opacity option for the normal slide after that you have a column option you have row options for the carousel you can select the two rows and once you select the two rows you have option for the top space so these are the options are available for the image gallery one more option available at the ex extra options which is for the featured image type in the carousel you need to adjust the featured image type if you want a full image you can select the full image which will be a masonry type in the carousel and if you select the grid image it will crop and show it like a grid layout so these are the options are available in the carousel after that you have the option for the filter first of all if you want the filter layout you need to select a content and the repeater in the repeater you have to set up categories you can add multiple categories by using comma once you select all the categories here you can turn on the categories wise filter option on in the option you have the filter styles filter hover styles and the filter alignment options also in the style tab you will have the options for the filter category from there you can manage typography options 
you can manage inner padding margin the category filter color normal and hover hover border color also as per the styles there will be a different cosmetics options there will be option for the box shadow as well so these are the option for the image gallery filter so you will have a different filter options if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on image gallery subscribe our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video